Where's the medicine man? <laughs> <laughs> he just disappeared. Medicine man! Medicine man! <laughs> there he is. All right, so today we have a special guest with us here today. And he is going to take us on an adventure through the forest. Hey, medicine man, what, what do you got in that bag there for us? Well, this is the tools of the trade. First, we got a machete, and that's good for not only clearing your way through the forest, but gathering roots or bark off a tree. I have these two containers, which are accessible to anyone at the store but what I use these for is actual measuring devices so when I gather the the wild herbs I'll actually fill this and I know this will make one jar of medicine I also also have different drying bags so as you gather the medicine say you need to dry it out to make a tea or something like that or if you're gathering a lot of medicine, it gives you more storage. Where'd you get those at? You know, uh, I think they were bought online. I didn't purchase them. Uh, gloves, you never know when you might harvest nettle or some uh, plant that irritates the skin. Also, we have scissors for gathering. Any scissors will work. And the three books that I use to identify the plants, this is probably the one I use the most. Uh, it's the Pacific Northwest, but the ease of identification is through the Peterson Field Guide because they actually uh, lay out flowers, all the white flowers, all the yellow flowers, etc. And then sometimes when you don't find them in the medicine books, you just want to solve your own curiosity. I use this book, and that usually identifies them all. So, are you guys ready? Let's do it. Yep. Yeah, we're ready. You ready, Lieutenant? I'm ready. <laughs> all right. So when I walked in, I happened to see this lemon balm growing in your garden. Let's check it out. So lemon balm is a great, great herb to tincture. And you wait until the tops start producing a flower. And then you reach down and you cut it right at the base. Always leave a couple of the leaves. But this, this medicine here I use every night. And it helps me sleep, uh, a restful sleep. But there's many other uh, nutritional I think the medical medium. Yeah, the medical medium says that it's it kills Epstein Barr virus and calms the central nervous system. So if you're dealing with neurological issues, this is a a great herb to have on hand. It's also good for your immune system, so we take it every day just to help keep up the immune system. And if you look right here, this is wild spearmint. Uh, I don't know if there's a medical purpose for it, but it sure smells good. It's good for the liver, and you can use it in your teas. So I know Medical Medium, he's got a, a tea in his life-changing foods book, the nettle tea, and he's got nettle, he's got mint in it, and he's got fresh ginger. So there's a great use for it. And man, I'm eyeballing a plant from here that is God's gift to the planet. It grows everywhere on the planet. It's called a narrow leaf plantain. And I see you've left it in your garden bed, which is a good idea. Here's the plantain right here. And all you harvest are these leaves. Nice. 
and we can eat them as you're harvesting. They're very nutrition, nutritious, and they have a nice little tang to them. Very the, tangy. The very top, bitter. The <laughs> very bitter. <laughs> the tops of these are used for uh, constipation. The way this works in the soil is it softens hard soil. And it works the same way in the human body. It softens a hardened body. So in other words, you'll have a good day when you start off the morning taking a tincture of uh, plantain leaf. This is narrow leaf plantain. Is there any medical? Medical medium says this removes heavy metals from the body and you can use it as a tea. Mm -hmm. And I know medicine man, he makes it in a tincture, right? Yeah, that's the way to have it. But look over there. This is a mullein. And this is a very valuable plant. If you've got anything respiratory wrong with you, sinus issues, things like that, you want to take mullein. I always sample the, uh, the tincture after I make it to check on the strength and, and uh, the quality of the tincture. And I find that when I do, I don't have a plug nose, a sinus issue, I breathe really well. But uh, I've also heard that people take it for sleep apnea and different sleeping disorders, which involves the respiratory. But the portions you harvest, you can harvest the leaves as long as they're not brown like those. But the best medicine is made from this top. This happens to be a small one. So if you were to harvest the flower portion, you'd have to get quite a few to do it. But uh, they also harvest the root later in the season. But that'll, of course, kill the plant. You. Do you guys have anything on the mullein? In our last video, you guys saw us talking about the uh, clogged liver and how these pathogens and these high fats and all of the foods that feed the pathogens clog the liver and produce, your liver then produce, is heat. And to reduce the heat, you can take the mullein leaf. It also helps knock down um, strep. Our next stop is only actually about 10 yards from the mowing plant. But this plant here is what they call self-heal. And if you were out looking for plants, uh, what we would do is we take out this book. If you didn't know the name of it, you'd have to scan through and find a picture of it. Because we know the name, we can just go back. We've harvested these before. Alright, so we'd find the um, self heal in the book and it would tell us what this plant looks like. So let's go ahead and pick one of them. And again, we're only picking the aerial parts of the plant. We're not pulling the roots or just harvesting the flower. So the aerial part is anything that grows above ground. So that would be considered the leaves and the stem. So the, what it says, lands to egg-shaped leaves. We have those. Smooth edge or slightly toothed. These happen to be smooth edge opposite each other so each leaf is growing opposite each other mm -hmm. uh, they emerge from short three and a half inches tall so that's about it the upper leaves become shorter and the narrow ascend attached to the stem is compact two lip tubular flowers so if you look at that they are tubular flowers of the blue, violet, or purplish or white. So we know 
based on everything they've said here and a few more items that this is the self heal. Now what what good is a uh, wild self heal? It's an astringent and a wound healer so you can apply it as a poultice or a dried herb to stop bleeding. In the body it reduces inflammation, promotes skin regeneration or to draw out infections. Cooling fever reduces, relieves lymphatic lymphatic stagnation. Now there I noticed in the plant uh, in myself I had one lymph node that was uh, larger and after the trial of the, uh, the medicine I noticed they became the same size. And this is what I'm going to try next is to verify that it does lower elevated blood pressure. So it's a pretty good plant. Okay, well the first thing is we're going to try and fill enough of these to fill this jar tight. So, Lieutenant, would you like to start the harvest? Sure. And then what are we making with it? We're going to make self heal a tincture. Tincture of it, okay. So what you want to do is, you know, just pull up and try and leave a little bit at the bottom for it to regrow. And then pick all the flowers. Yeah, the reason we use tinctures is basically to uh, concentrate the medicines. So a very small bottle would provide a lot of medicines. There's other ways to do it, you know. Um, there's a distillation process. There's, you know, tons of, uh, of extraction methods. But this is very simple and easy, and everyone at home can do it and have the same medicines we do. What did you do, Commander? It's almost full. No, it's not even close because these all get packed what? down. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you really pack it in there, huh? We're getting there. Um, while we're here, though, I wanted to point out these Himalayan blackberries, and they not only make a uh, great blackberry tea, but the berries you can eat. Mmm, best medicine. Well, now we're heading to the South Field. To the south field we run across Mr. Horsetail <laughs> and this is a great medicine this is one of the oldest plants on the planet and what you do is you harvest only the stalk during a time when these leaves are pointing upward if they've pointed down they're no longer any good for medicine yeah, and these will help build strong bones. It's got a lot of silica in it, right? I believe so, yeah. There's a, a debate on whether that's good for you or not, but I think the medical medium has confirmed that it is a good substance for you. It's good, yeah. And right over here, this plant here, this plant here is what they call yellow dot. The time to harvest this one is in the fall. And what you want to do is harvest the roots. And I think yellow dock has some tie into 
Yeah, it's good for detoxing the blood from the liver. So it's a good li liver uh, healing herb. All righty. All righty then. Medicine man. Where'd he go? Where's the medicine man? <laughs> <laughs> he just disappeared. Medicine man. Medicine man. <laughs> there he is. All right. Alright, so as we're walking here, we've just come across uh, a patch of wild black raspberries. And it's interesting because they show all three stages of growth. That black one you can pick and eat. Lieutenant? Thank you. Mm. Ooh. Isn't that good? Delicious. Guys. What is that? It's called foxglove. Wow. And foxglove is really kind of a poison, but the um, the pharmaceutical industry has actually been able to turn this into a heart medicine. But if you're gathering on your own, stay away from it. Huh. Okay. happen across a uh, yarrow grow. This one has been prior harvested and if you notice they harvested in the center and let these go out. The time to harvest this is when these are yellow and as you can see these are fading a little bit. That doesn't mean that the leaves still have potency and if you're ever in the woods run across some yarrow have dry hands just mash it up your hands will be smooth or soft for two days and I noticed there's some animals that have eaten off the tips of this no that I that this has already been harvested by who by me <laughs> so this plant here is sheep shore and it's a little past its prime it's already gone to seed usually this is picked earlier in the year but this is a good one too for inflammation you can put it on your salads too it's got a little sour bite to it so while we were uh, picking some self heal we ran across this plant here and the lieutenant and I have been looking it up and we think it's nettle leaf giant hispa, which is a real good nettle. But as Ben is picking uh, 
the rest of the cell feel. We'll just, we're just going through the book to confirm. So it says it's smooth textured around here above and below and that's correct. The leaf undersides are paler shade of green than the tops. So if we bend over a leaf and compare it to the top. Oh, yes. Okay. So far so good. But it says it's it's a stalkless tubular tulip flower. Is it square stem? It is square stem. This is square, yeah. So yeah, are the are the leaves uh, off center or are they they grow equal on both yep, sides. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, that looks like this, what this is. So the medical uses for this, if you take it, it soothes, soothes your digestive tract, relieves indigestion, nausea, gas pain. It's also used to promote sweating, the break of fever, and the spreading of colds and flus. For their somewhat calming influence on the nerves, these same preparations are also bring vividly colored and sometimes zany dreams. Ooh, fun. That sounds like one for me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to harvest some of this or? Uh, there's a bigger pad, but let's finish the selfie and then we'll go back. South Field. Show them guys what you guys got. We got two containers of cell fuel and we identified some new plants out there. This one's very well packed. This one may need some more. So <laughs> I can see I'm going to have to go out and get some more later on. But for this demonstration. Well we want to thank you for taking us out to sure. find some of this cell feel and teach us what, the what, way. What uh, what are we gonna do with this, Medicine Man? Well, next episode I'll show you uh, how to turn it into a tincture. Cool. Awesome. We hope you guys enjoyed that special episode. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. And comment below. Let us know what you think of all these different herbs that uh, we went around and checked out today. See you guys on the next one. See ya.